Now we are going to talk about the Amazon rainforest and its biodiversity, ethnic tribes, and its benefits to our ecosystem. So, what is the Amazon rainforest? The Amazon rainforest is the world's biggest rainforest. It is larger than the next two largest rainforests combined, which are the Congo Basin and Indonesia. In terms of biodiversity, it houses at least 10% of the world's known biodiversity. Its river accounts for 15 to 16% of the world's total river discharge into the ocean. It also houses 30% of the Earth's known species, not to mention billions of trees belonging to 16,000 species. In the Amazon rainforest, indigenous groups such as Yanomamo and Keapo have been living there for thousands of years. According to Rhett Butler, there is a long history of human settlement in the Amazon. The natives in the area also helps in conservation efforts of the Amazon rainforest. There is evidence that indigenous territories in the area result in lower deforestation rates. The Amazon rainforest plays a significant role in regulating the world's carbon dioxide and oxygen cycle. According to Dr. Matthew Stewart, the forest itself is responsible for 20% of the oxygen turnover. In addition, it is a place with multiple species of animals and plants that are beneficial to the environment, along with indigenous tribes that preserve the natural beauty of the rainforest. Let's ask Inigo about what is happening right now in the Amazon rainforest. So as what Toji asked, what is currently happening or what is the situation in the Amazon rainforest? Well, knowing that the Amazon rainforest is approximately 6 million square kilometers or at least 25 times the size of Britain, with 60% of the total area in Brazil the government of Brazil surely took advantage of this and utilized the land mass and resources through industrialization. The continuous industrialization and clearing of land has certainly affected the climate. With its rich biodiversity of plant species, it obviously has a great impact when it comes to absorbing greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. The Amazon rainforest absorbs approximately 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide annually, or at least 5% of the world's annual emissions. It should be known that the absorption of these greenhouse gases help prevent climate change which decreases the melting of ice caps. Knowing that industrializing the rainforest would bring profit, the government of Brazil has ceased all efforts of rehabilitating the rainforest. Recently, the G7, which consists of the United States, Canada, Germany, Japan, Italy, France, and the United Kingdom have pledged to aid the Brazilian government by giving $22.2 million for the government to prevent further damages. Still, President Bolsonaro of the Brazilian government angrily refused later on agreeing to the $12 million aid by the United Kingdom. This decision by the government has been a controversial topic amongst world leaders and environmentalists. The reasons as to why the president made these decisions is still unknown. To expound more on the topic, Patrick will tackle the social and scientific relevance of the issue. President Gerald Bolsonaro, a known climate change skeptic, made the situation worse by enacting policies that crippled local environmental agencies that protects the rainforest in which he remarked that he would end an industry of pines started by the agencies. He also denounced the same agencies by accusing them of being in a conspiracy to discredit him to the international community as the one responsible for the Amazon rainforest fires. He refused international aid to prevent more damage done in the forest in which he downplayed the damages done by the forest fires and has shifted the blame to indigenous tribes that practice traditional slash and burn agriculture in which the environmentalists disputed the claims quickly, telling that the main cause of the fires came from the farmers, ranchers, and miners that bulldozed the trees area and burning them. At the start of Bolsonaro's presidency in 2019, the forest fires increased by 20% to a record of 10,123 square meters of rainforest, although this is reduced by 5% during this year, the number of fires is continuing to increase during the nine months of this year with 16,119 fires were burning over 10% of the wetlands. With all these taken into consideration, the continuous destruction of the rainforest and its biodiverse nature 
has proven and will prove to be a major complication in the years to come. So why don't we ask Fonsi for more scientific facts about the issue? So, as a hypothetical question, what would happen if the Amazon rainforest continues to succumb to destruction? This hypothetical question does not really stray afar from the current situation and how the government of Brazil is currently handling it. It must be taken into account that billions of plants undergo a process called evapotranspiration. What is evapotranspiration? Evapotranspiration is the combination of evaporation and transpiration. It is where rainwater is absorbed through the roots and through transpiration is transferred to the canopy and afterwards released into the air. This method helps sustain agriculture and supplies nearby reservoir that quenches the thirst of the people. Another catastrophic consequence, the destruction of the Amazon rainforest may bring upon us is climate change. As my groupmate said, Inigo said, the Amazon rainforest is responsible for absorbing 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide yearly or approximately 5% of the world's annual CO2 emissions. With the destruction of the rainforest, it will increase the ongoing dissolution of the ice caps. It will form a sequence of events that will eventually lead to destruction of the planet. With the given, the problem at hand serves as a hindrance in achieving the sustainable goals number 3, 13, and 15, namely good health and well-being, climate change, and life on land. As stated by my friend Fons, the Amazon forest does a huge contribution in absorbing the CO2 emissions from the atmosphere, hence affecting climate change. And to further support this, many species of the plants that reside within the Amazon are burning, and those said plants are responsible for absorbing the said CO2 emissions. Moving on, the life on land is affected because of the many species that reside within the forest. They are dying due to the flames and the smoke that the fires emit. The Amazon is home to a lot of different species, both plants and animals. With the smoke as a factor, this affects the health of the locals who are li living nearby the Amazon forest. An article in the Human Rights Watch organization states that the smoke is poisonous and is making an impact on air pollution that is already present within the area. Now let's move on to Patrick in order to expand on the matter. The burning of the Amazon rainforest is socially relevant due to the fact that it shows the effect of upright promoting the burning of this, each section of the rainforest and marking it as progress and industrialization as a political tool in order to gain more power in the political scene, while forgetting to consider the potential destruction of the environment, not only in Brazil, but also the entire world. As also said by Fonsi, the Amazon rainforest greatly impacts the annual CO2 emissions. Not only does it contribute to lessening the melting of the ice caps, but it also houses over 10 million species of plants and animals. With this in mind, it is evident that the Amazon rainforest is very rich in biodiversity. Apart from the biodiverse nature of the Amazon rainforest, a certain amount of the Amazon rainforest has not been explored. The, expo the exploration of these areas and the utilization of its untapped resources may help society advance with new inventions. This could either help us progress or may set us back depending on how we address the current situation of the Amazon rainforest. This should also serve as a wake-up call for the people and the scientific community to advocate for the protection of not only the Amazon rainforest but also the other forests that are in danger of being deforested. They should be informed on how progress should be made without compromising on our environment so that they may be able to research and create possible alternatives to our activities like integration of some industries to the rainforest without creating too much pollution. As with, the, as with our stand regarding this matter, here's Gideon Kondangan with the details. Preservation is the best thing we could do in order to safeguard the Amazon forest from burning further. 20% of the Amazon forest is already burned off due to the Brazilian government's idea of progress, and if this continues, irreversible consequences follow. With the world facing a plethora of natural calamities due to global warming of the sort, preserving the forest is for our own good. By preserving the forest, not only are we lessening the chances of natural calamities, we're also preserving the life that resides within the forest itself. Not just the many species of plants and animals, but also ethnic tribes that find shelter 
livelihood and culture within the forest. The more the forest burns, the more we compromise the lives of those that reside within it. We can't in good conscience let this go on. Apart from the fact that it houses majority of the Earth's many species of plants and animals, the forest itself make a big contribution in sucking out the carbon dioxide from our atmosphere. With the present fires, local settlers near the forest are reported to have suffered poisoning due to the smoke that the fires emit. With the fires still present, instead of sucking out carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the forest unwillingly emits more due to the smoke caused by the said fires. The more these fires stay, the more carbon dioxide will go into the atmosphere, and it doesn't help that there are already factories, machineries, and other businesses that contribute on making our carbon footprint much larger than it's supposed to be. So, we believe that the Amazon rainforest plays an essential and vital role not only for the state of Brazil, but for the entire world. Since we have discussed how big the ecosystem and livelihood it covers, our group has developed a diagram that is somewhat similar or derived from the concept of Eichenhead's paradigm of teaching, thus putting our own idea into it. The diagram tackles the idea of Amazon rainforest as our main topic, which is the society's response, then revolves around explaining scenarios which showcase answers that can affect or influence towards the said topic or Problem. This includes educating and spreading relevant information to spread knowledge and awareness. And also, it highlights the root cause of the main topic. Our steps may not be radical or a paradigm shift, but we believe that with the help of this notion, we can be part of the solution and prevent the problem. As the saying goes, Revenge is better than cure.